Good afternoon. The Arts Council for Monterey County welcomes you to our monthly online segment, Artist Spotlight. I am Karen Lee Garcia, the program's director. And today I am so pleased to welcome Yvonne Hildebrand Bowen from Leadership Carmel and local artists, Nicole Cromwell and Ashley Stoddard. Two artists that are participating in this summer's Heart of Carmel art in installation. So welcome Yvonne. Ashley and Nicole, and thank you all for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So Ashley Stoddard is the daughter of late world-renowned sculptor Bob Bennett. Though she attended the Academy of Art in San Francisco briefly, she quickly found out that art school was not for her. But at 21, she owned her own studio and gallery in Placerville, which she subleased studio space to 23 artists. Along with creating monthly showings for these artists, Ashley started the Third Saturday Art Walk in Placerville and many other fun art-related events. Ashley and her family spent the last 11 years in Utah raising three children, designing jewelry and raising funds for nonprofits, and creating a documentary while touring the US with her paintings. Ashley moved back in 2018 to help in running the family gallery, Bennett Sculpture, Carmel, coming full circle and pouring herself into all aspects of the business. So thank you so much, Ashley, for being here. Thank you. For this documentary, I'm very curious about this. <laughs> And Nicole Cromwell is a self-taught artist in Carmel by the Sea. She works full-time as a nurse in the Bay Area and began painting seven years ago after being inspired by a patient she cared for in the ICU. Her artwork varies from calming ocean and landscapes to vibrant, joyful florals and abstracts, reflecting the balance she strives for in her in life. Her artwork is currently featured at Lanai Gallery and Boutique in Carmel Crossroads. She also had solo shows in Carmel Valley and will be participating in open studios this October. So welcome, Nicole. Thank you. And Yvonne Hildebrand Bowen is a fourth generation Pen a Peninsula native and Forest Theater supporter. As a current executive director for the Forest Theater Guild, a local historic community theater organization, Bowen combines her background in construction with her experiences as a wife, homemaker, mother, and grandmother to bring a unique blend of skills to support local organizations. Prior to the construction industry, she worked with a talent management and production company, and in her spare time, she enjoys reading, sewing, and time outdoors. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Yvonne, to Artist Spotlight. Thank you, Thank you Karen. So I wanna just catch up briefly with all of you because this has just been um, an unprecedented year, you know, the word that we've been all using a lot. Um, and just to kind of hear from you, you know, what uh, your experience was like during shelter in place, you know, maybe what you focused on or shifted towards. So I'll start with Yvonne. Shelter in place was very strange because I'm used to being at the theater, working with kids and, and, and the public. So that was a little strange to be sequestered. Um, but once you got used to it, then a lot of time was spent in the yard, a lot of time, you know, sewing and was part of a sewing team to do the masks for Monterey. And uh, so found other ways of, of giving back. And my daughter is a senior this year. So uh, supporting her to get through the school year was uh, that was pretty important. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good a good time to be to be home actually. Yeah, she was transitioning. Right, right, and then Ashley. Oh, sheltering in place was um, it was amazing in a lot of aspects, despite the fear factor that was going on. You know, during the pandemic, um, for me it was a really a really um, it was really a great reflective time um, to kind of just slow down and prioritize and really um, do a lot of self-evaluation, a lot of home cooking. <laughs> and I also, I have three kids. And so it was pretty interesting uh, helping them get through, get through this year, um, learning, you know, a whole, a whole new way to learn. So 
Um, and then, and then telling that story through my art. Um, a lot of times I'm, I'm so busy with so many different things that, um, I was able to really define, define and fine tune, um, who I am as an artist this past year. That's wonderful. Yeah. Cool. What was your time like, um, especially, you know, different, definitely you were, you know, an essential worker during this time, um, always have been an essential worker, but, you know, this was a time when, you know, you were probably being recognized more and more for all of your, your work um, in the medical field. Yeah, it was, um, it was definitely challenging, a lot of fear and anxiety around sort of the unknown and, um, and knowing what I know and, and just seeing everything unfold. It was, um, it was, it was challenging uh, as a nurse being in that environment. Um, and I turned to my painting to sort of help me heal and cope and um, work on the stress as I was feeling. So it was interesting throughout the pandemic, I could see my, my artwork changing from calming blues and greens, and then sort of coming out of the, the pandemic, shifting into more um, bright colors and sort of um, a hopeful, coming from a hopeful place. And right at the beginning of the pandemic, I moved into my new studio in the Church of the Wayfarer, and immediately we shut down. And so the doors were closed and I could still come in here, but it was I wanted to show my studio off to the world and um, we just couldn't, um, but we're, we're getting, getting there. So very helpful. That's, that's great. Um, and it's nice that you did have a space to kind of retreat to during that time. Absolutely. So we're going to shift gears. Um, I, we are here to talk about um, leadership Carmel and also, you know, what that project is and also a very large public art installation that is going to be launching very soon uh, in the city of Carmel. I'm going to just start with Yvonne, just to share a tiny bit. We're going to just show some images, though, for our audience who may not be familiar with who you are. Um, uh, just a little bit about your background um, in production and theater. And then I'm going to have you share more about um, Leadership Carmel and your role. And if I could just get a um, little uh, the hosting capability, but right now you can just share a little bit, Yvonne, about um, your work as an executive director with the Forest Theater Guild. Right. Well, I, I love being at the Forest Theater um, with the Forest Theater Guild and being at the theater. Um, I am a fourth generation um, here on the peninsula and my my daughter is fourth actually fourth generation on the stage so um that's really exciting for me uh, my grandkids will be fifth when they get here and um it, it's just it's a nice place to be when when you're standing there at night at the end of the evening locking up and everything is down and you're looking at the stars you realize that you're standing in the same place that the founders stood you know people like herbert heron and george sterling and mary austin and uh, jack london and it's it's pretty incredible space to share with all of our community and especially the, the newcomers to theater that are getting a chance to act there on the stage as well. So I think the, is this the first slide that you have up? Karen, you're muted. You're muted. Sorry, we're having a little technical difficulties right now. Um, but yes, if you can just talk through a little bit about what you're seeing right now, Yvonne, as okay. we're going through. Right. Um, this the first slide that I'm that I'm looking at here is the um, at the Forest Theater. This was our production of Hello Dolly last year, and it's actually showing our parade scene, mm -hmm. and the the kids that are in the marching band uniforms are actually playing their instruments, which is really cool. Really um, a, a fun show, a great show. Well, uh, Defaria directed, and uh, we we had a really good time with that. That's great. Yeah, um, and then I know that the, we did show one from um, Big. 
Yeah, that production. was uh, that was our Zoltar. Um, mm -hmm. That was fabulous. We made a, a Zoltar machine, and we had a live actor in there instead of having a um, an animatronic, and uh, that was really fun. Made out of a popcorn machine and a right. podium, so really really fun. Um, and I'm not I'm not sure. I'm just I see a, a bunch of pictures, so I'm not sure what we're looking at right now. So if you could just, if you don't mind just mentioning to, because everyone kind of saw it a couple of times, okay. uh, we also just showed just some of your other productions, and then really we can just move into the leadership, leadership class, yeah. leadership Carmel. Yeah, well, I work with a bunch of different organizations. I work with Community Palette, I work with uh, Dominique and Kirsten to do um, the Awaken uh, fashion show, and um with West End, uh, which is always fun. Um, great organization that uplifts young people, especially young women. Um, also worked with Domini at uh, dusk over um, at the PG Art Center uh, to help with set and uh, great, great organization to work with, a lot of fun. Um, and then uh, leadership, that's been really, really fun. It's been a very interesting experience. I met great people. Um, I found, I was reading the Pinecone one day and there was an article um, about leadership and it was very close to the deadline when I saw it. So I called Jenny up and I said, is, is it too late to apply? Um, because as a leader, you, you know that you're, there's always something more to learn. There's always mm -hmm. another way to grow. There's always a way to give back. And um, I was lucky enough to be one of the ones chosen to participate in this uh, group with uh, 10 other people. So. It and was, when did it when did it start, Yvonne? Because you when you right right started. before COVID hit. Okay. <laughs> so um, we had uh, our our first meeting. Uh, we actually got to meet in person, socially distanced with masks, and we took a walk through Carmel with Gail Gallagher of Carmel Walks, and that was really fun. Uh, went through all the alleys, and I, I've walked it with Gail before um, knowing her. But every time you go, you see something new or, or she tips in a little different fact of, about Carmel that you might not have known. So really, really fun. Um, and, and did you meet on a monthly basis? Like how was the program structured? Right. Well, we met once a month and it did end up being via Zoom. Um, and so that was a really long day via Zoom. But mm -hmm. it was we had great guest speakers. Uh, we had um government classes we took uh, we talked with the you know tourism and um, city council um, the chief of police came and talked the chief of the fire department came and spoke we met with the um, school district uh, we met with the um, county supervisor and then we had a lot of, of other people that came in and talked about um, finance hr dealing with stress, especially during times of COVID. And um, it, it was a really good class. I, I, I enjoyed it very much. So we met once, once a month as a group in Zoom. And then as we developed our project, we met weekly via Zoom at right. 7.30 in the morning before oh, all wow. of our other, other work. So it was, it, was a, it was a lot, but it was, it was good. We really got to know each other. And so then how did the heart share a little bit about Heart of Carmel and what how that project even came to fruition? Like it just was a you know a small idea and then just said, okay, let's go for it as a team. Well, part of the program is is learning about our our community, learning about government um, and all aspects, but part of the program is also um, a, a legacy project that we needed to do to give back to the city. And so we all had to decide on one project to do, which was challenging, especially all over Zoom and all of us being from different backgrounds and um, different fields of, of work. Um, but we narrowed it down to three projects and ended up um, choosing the heart um, we wanted something that was going to give back to the community in a way that would would get everybody up moving around again. So it was right at the beginning of COVID when everybody was in shelter in place. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to do something that was art related. And um, so we, we narrowed it down to the, to the hearts. And um, I think that that was actually a, a really, really good choice. Um, 
we thought about, you know, moving forward after, after shelter in place, when things got back to normal, what could we do to drive tourism as well? And what could we get to bring people together? Um, and we set it up so the hearts are all around Carmel. You have to walk around the entire village. And, mm -hmm. um, and we'll, we'll tap into that a little bit more later yeah. after we speak with uh, Ashley and Nicole, because I do think that that is an exciting um, part of it. Um, but I do agree, the heart project, you yeah. guys killed it. <laughs> great. So I'm just going to shift. Thank you so much, Yvonne. I'm just going to shift into talking with Ashley and sharing a little bit more about your artistic background. So if you want to share um, a little bit more. I'm going to try to show these images. We're having like a little tech issue. So we'll see what we will. The audience will, you know, we'll point them in the right direction to see uh, all of your beautiful artwork afterwards. But um, no problem. No problem. <laughs> yeah, I want to be I'm going to show these images, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. It's the world of technology. This is what happens. Our best laid plans not always, not mm -hmm. always works out as we would like. But if you mm -hmm. want to share a little bit about your artwork, I would love that. All right. Well, um, well, this piece right here, um, a couple of the, the different images that I um, chose to, to show today were all pieces that were done um, in 2020. They were all pieces that were created while um, we were sheltering in place. And like I was saying, um, you know, uh, it was a, a big time of reflection for me um, in a lot of different ways. Um, I feel like my, my art is typically connected that way and storytelling in that way. But um, this piece was, you know, with all the girls, the tree ladies in a circle. Um, that one's called Circle of Light. Um, it was really about missing my relationships and my friendships and, and my, my people, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? So I think, you know, a lot of us went through that, especially if you're a really social person, um, not socializing and feeling isolated um, was definitely a, a new feeling for me. Um, and so um, that one with the, with the woman holding the earth, that was done on Earth Day. And whoo, these are getting fast. Um, <laughs> <They're going by laughs> fast. But um, there was a lot of a lot of cool things to reflect on, you know, last year and and, and holding holding the earth like the like, you know, the canals being clear and seeing fish and the sky getting a little bit clearer and you know, taking a break from people being on roads and highways and, um, and, and the earth getting just like this moment to be able to heal itself a little bit was, was kind of a magical, magical moment for me um, in last year and being able to be present and in that moment and really, really recognizing that even though there was so much fear and so much trauma and so much uncertainty, there were also a lot of beautiful things that were happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the images that are on here are all kind of reflective of just some, some high points um, of last year. Right. As an artist, um, I, I've been a selling artist for 26 years now and I hadn't produced prints in 20 mm -hmm. years. In 2020, I started um, producing very limited edition prints um, in editions of 20, kind of benchmarking my, my pivot for my business plan last year and right. realizing I needed another price point and, um, and how powerful art and art is for healing for so many people. And when people connect with a piece of artwork, and they take a piece of you and they put it in their environment and they have that connection to it. It has an energy, it has something that it radiates. Um, it's, it's a personal, um, it's like an unspoken language, you know, between the artist and the viewer. And so by creating prints and having this other price point, um, I was able to expand my audience and, and that was really pretty, pretty awesome for me. That's, yeah, that is great. And uh, yeah, are any of those prints still available? 
Um, some of them, a lot of them sold out of edition uh, pretty quick, but yes, I do have some, some prints available on, on some of the images. So That's great. We'll, we'll be uh, making yeah. sure people know where to find you in case they're interested. Yeah. And I, and, and I would like to say too, um, the leadership Carmel, this whole, this whole project was such an amazing thing to be a part of. Um, I was so excited when I saw that that was going to be like the class project. And um, I'm, I'm also board chair for um, the Carmel Chamber of Commerce this year. And I do know that applications for the next class um, are currently um, available and they'll be interviewing like this next month. So, so um, I can't say enough cool things that I've heard about the program and the group of people that were selected and I attended the graduation, which was, it was just really, it was really great to hear the growth and, and then also the backstory behind these hearts. Um, these hearts are going to add so much to the community in so many different layers. And, you know, Carmel is founded off of artists and bohemian type. And, um, and, a, and there's not a, a ton of public art in town. There's a little bit, but this really is such a beautiful reflection of the talent that, um, that is in, in this town. That's great. And then how did you, you become involved with the Heart of Carmel project? You just, you heard about it and applied just like everyone else. And I, I did, I did. I, I knew a little bit, a little bit, um, a little bit about it beforehand. There were some, um, when the leadership program started, uh, we had a little subcommittee within uh, the chamber, which was, um, we called it the Carmel Rising Group. Um, mm -hmm. There were Four of us are our CEO, Jenny McMurdo, who's amazing, um, Jessica Schmidt, who's past chair, and then also Catherine Morsey. Um, and so kind of, I would hear little snippets of like, I knew there was gonna be a project. I just didn't know kind of what the project was going to be, but, um, is, but I looked for, you know, hoping it would somehow tie, tie the arts in, you know, and so once I saw that come up on, on Facebook, I think somebody tagged me or something like that, right. so like, okay, I'm applying for that for sure, <laughs> so That's, I definitely yeah. want to be one of the artists of that, you know. Absolutely, so, and yeah. we're just going to quickly show um, the audience your, your time-lapse video too, so. Okay, all right. You creating part of your heart. And you can talk about it a little bit as it's going to. Okay. All right. So, um, so my inspiration behind, um, behind my heart is community. And so um, a lot of times I work with a lot of different layers, a lot of different texture. This, my heart, it has a lot of texture and a lot of different layers of paint on it. Um, and the story behind these types of paintings that I do um, is that, I believe we're all these beings of light where we take in light and we take in, we take in our environment and these are the colors of Carmel to me. So, mm. um, and I won't tell you everything that happens because I don't think there's going to be, there's going to be an unveiling of the finished project, but it's definitely based around community. It's definitely based around interacting. It's definitely based, um, the idea is, is is what what this community is to me it's layered it's rich it's beautiful it's um diverse it's um accepting it's you know it's so many different things and so that's that's the inspiration behind my heart well it's beautiful and i can find it <laughs> once you. it's installed and revealed um, I'm going to be looking for, for your beautiful heart. So thank you so much for sharing, Ashley. Thank you. And so Nicole, just moving into the same questions, a little bit more about your artwork. And um, I will share as best as I, I can right now. And um, you can just start with kind of your, your process. Um, you, had a, you have a different path to as an artist, a little bit about your um, experience. 
Yes, um, you mentioned in the beginning that uh, you know I, I started painting um, after I was taking care of a, an ICU patient um, in the hospital, and she I found out she was an artist, and she was around my age. And when she lost her battle with cancer, um, it really affected a lot of the nurses, and so we all wanted to do something to honor her memory. So we went and did um, just an art night at a little craft place in San Jose, and that just sort of opened my eyes to how much I creating and then I would do paint and sip nights and taking a few workshops and um, it's just to all sort of just happened and um, I've gone on lots of international workshops and um, now I have my studio and I absolutely love it it's been so incredibly healing for me over the years it's um, wonderful, it's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, we're been, just going to share a little bit, a uh, couple of, of your, a series of your paintings, and you can just talk through them sure. a little bit. I, um, I paint a lot of ocean, sort of calming ocean and landscapes, and um, this is, this is a, a recent one that's actually up at Lanai, and I'm just moving into the brighter, the brighter blues. My, my previous ones have been kind of a more muted blue. So I love this one. It's series named after the beaches in uh, Big Sur. And this one was um, a commission that I did uh, last year for a good friend. So I love that. And it turned into a whole series. There was about 10 of them. And this one is called Sophia. And part of my process is um, I like to write quotes and set intentions on the canvas before I start. And this one um, is after a quote by Sophia Loren. Um, on the canvas, it, it says, um, you must all somewhere deep in your hearts believe that you have a special beauty that is like no other and that is so valuable, you must not abandon it. Indeed, you must learn to cherish it. And um, the painting sold, and the buyer had no idea what was behind the, the name Sophia. And so when I told her, she just, she burst into tears and she was, it just, it touched her heart. And, and like that, I, I can't ask for a better reaction or a better connection with somebody. And so that just, that fills my heart and makes everything that I do so worth it. And I love the uniqueness of placing words and poems behind the painting. Mm -hmm. um, I, I yeah, it always tell all your buyers that, but I, for me, I, I, I'm such a curious person. I would want to be, well, what is behind this painting? <laughs> Yeah, like these two behind me have lots of words of intention and I it somehow it, it drives the painting and then it, at the in the end like people are just um, attracted to the painting and then they find out what the words are and it's just it's such an amazing connection. That's wonderful. And here's another I think from the same series. That one that one's um, uh, called Infinity and that's at, at Lanai as well and I love mm -hmm. that one. I just did that one last month. It's beautiful. Thank you. And that one's walk in the uh, Sunday morning chat. And that's inspired by hike out in Carmel Valley. I love that one. It's beautiful. Yeah. And here's some of your floral series. Yeah, I, um, every once in a while, you know, in the springtime, especially, I'm just inspired by all the, the flowers and, and kind of shifting to to brighter colors. And so um, I love painting florals. And mm -hmm. so that's the other thing that I, I tend to paint. Those are just some more muted colors. And this one is um, real special to me. It was a series called The Dance. And it's all sort of, um, it represents my nursing practice and sort of having that strong base blue base of that and, um, and being a strong advocate for my patients. Um, and then um, the overwhelming, the pink is the softness to um, mm. my practice as a nurse being caring and empathetic and um, caring for my patients. So that was a special series to me. I think there's five of them and I, I kept a couple of them for myself. <laughs> 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 and I think this is the final painting that we have for you. Yeah, this one, um, so proud of this one is my first, um, this is called Playa and it's my, uh, my first 
um, painting that has um, won a spot in a, an international competition. And it's then going to be on display um, with the San Diego Museum of Art. Um, so I'm really excited about that well, one. Congratulations on that, that is amazing. Thank you. And then if you could tell the audience um, how you became involved in the Heart of Carmel project. I, it was so random. I just, I saw it on Facebook, the, um, the, the ad for it. And I was like, oh, that sounds incredible. It's something I would so want to be a part of. And I thought, you know, I'm very, you know, a new artist still trying to find my voice. And I thought, well, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to try and I'll apply because I kept thinking of that quote, you miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Mm. And it, it just kept going in my head and I'm like, I'm just going to go for it. And so I was down, um, I spent some time in Big Sur and I was down there really kind of focusing and figuring out how I was going to apply for this. And I thought, you know, the theme was, what does Carmel mean to you? And to me, Carmel, like Ashley, it's all about community. And so um, the idea I came up with, um, similar to my, my process and my paintings, is I wanted to put the word out there for people to tell me what Carmel meant to them. And mm -hmm. so I got locals, people from all over the world responded and told me oh, what wow. Carmel them and so I just I wrote it all paper and I just started writing it all over the heart and, and you are writing it all over the heart <laughs> and I wanted to bring this out into the garden and have people come and do it but I just thought oh, this thing is huge <laughs> so <laughs> I ended up just putting the word out there and um do, oh there's my dog that runs by um doing it myself <laughs> and so um and then the color that I ended up, this that all gets covered up. And then I just went with really bright, bold, beautiful colors, feeling the joy and the energy of um, and the excitement of the project. So right. That's right. Oh, and so my um I named my heart um the the heart that love built because um there's just so much love and community support and that went into that. And I'm just, I'm so incredibly grateful to have been chosen for this project. I can't, I, I got the notification and I was just completely overwhelmed and happy and shocked and so grateful to everybody that, that's um, been working on this project of leadership. Did we lose somebody? I think we lost our host. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, I gotta say, painting that heart was a lot of fun, don't you think, Nicole? Oh. Like, I mean, I wanted, yeah, I wanted more of them. I'm I like, did I too. More right. Of them. Right. I 100% like felt the same way. I was like, I want more of these, and then I was trying to think, okay, yeah. how can I create like some type of sculpture that I can reproduce and like constantly be painting on something that's three dimensional? It was just so right. much fun. Yeah. Yeah, because I had no idea what it was going to be like to paint on, but wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, and I couldn't get enough of it. I was like, oh, and then when I was done, I almost got kind of sad. <laughs> it was like, oh. I know I wanted to stand it down and start over because it's yeah. so much fun. It, it was really neat for us too when we started picking the hearts up, well, delivering them to everybody, getting them was quite a challenge, but then picking them up and then getting them to the coding process. Um, I just did a quick video of all the hearts to send to, the, to our team. And uh, one of them actually texted me back. I'm crying. We actually did it. We've done oh, it. Wow. I know. No, I know. You guys I'm glad you guys can quite a big project for your class project. I mean, yeah. literally project like physically, logistically, like everything about it was a lot to a lot to take on. But I'm so proud of you guys and so happy that that's like the project that you chose because it's going to be the gift that keeps giving. Right. Yeah. And Yvonne, can you, and thank you guys for continued speaking while I <laughs> still having technical issues over here. Um, can you talk a little bit about what we're going to see in the next uh, couple of months? Well, uh, we've picked up most of the hearts. There's a few that are being completed. Um, got them to our painter, uh, Sam Reed, who was a fabulous guy um, and, and a good friend who really believed in this project right from the get-go. He was one of the first people to sign on and say, yeah, I'll help you. Um, and thank you, Sam. <laughs> um, so they're coded and we're going to start bringing them back to Carmel and 
over the next few weeks, sometime we're going to start placing them around town. Um, they'll be out over the summer and there'll be an online auction uh, at the end of August. It'll be, you know, about a week. I don't know the exact dates yet because we're still working on that platform and what's going to work best for uh, our team and Carmel. Um, and the online auction has its own special twist, right? There's a fundraising aspect. Yes, of- the best yeah. part of the project. So when we, when we started the project, we thought about what could we do for the immediate right now and what what would be long term and how would this benefit the community the most and so it was getting people walking getting people seeing our village but then how how could it be legacy how could it continue to give so the hearts are being auctioned off at the end of the summer and we fundraised ahead of time to make sure that everything was paid for. So every, every penny that's being raised from the auction will go back to two scholarship funds being administered, one by the Carmel Women's Club and two by the Carmel Chamber Foundation um, for future leaders and um, our, our, our locals to learn leadership and continue education. And um, so we're hoping to raise a uh, a good amount of money to to fund that and to keep leadership Carmel going as well. I really loved that aspect of it when you told me all the layers that were involved. I just said, "This is great. How can how can the Arts Council be involved?" Um, and so I'm glad we will be involved. And of course, as you heard from our executive director uh, before we started, we're eager, we're excited, we can't wait to find out, you know, what heart we sponsored. Um, and also just be a part of the community um, um, for this for this huge project. It feels like just a huge unveiling with every, everything right. that's been going on. Right. So um, I'm just going to quickly share just a couple of little snippets of images. Um, this is a real uh, sneak peek of um, what... Uh, people are are going to be able to see. And of course we do, you know, you have your Facebook page where everyone can see um, other images also. So let's see. So this was when we first got the hearts in here Uh, Mm -hmm. and it's a giant four by four palette. (laughs) And then I see Nicole and some of the other local artists. That was delivery. This was the delivery of a finished heart, Ashley's heart to the Forest Theater for graduation. This was one of our images we just put up so people could see what we were doing. And this is the sneak peek of our map. This was unintentional. (laughs) (laughs) How we set that up is we just wanted people up and walking around the village to go by the galleries, go by the stores, go by Mm -hmm. the restaurants, smell something, go in and get a snack and hang out with your friends. And, uh, and for the visitors to go in and buy something and help our economy get going again. Um, so having having it be, when I plotted it out, it was in the shape of a heart on a string. And I was like, oh, wow, this, this is amazing. Cause we totally did not plan that. It just, so it, it was kind of like a stamp of approval on our project um, right. happening. So meant, meant to be. Yeah. After this is unveiled and we we're thinking maybe in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, we're hoping mid month. Um, okay. and, and again, it's it's there was a lot of a, a lot of little roadblocks along the way because we did do this project during COVID. So we couldn't get all the paints that the artists needed right away um, because of shipping, because of manufacturing, because of ingredients not being able to get to the manufacturer and and all of that. So um, we're, we're running a little bit behind our timeline, but not too much. Um, we also had to get our bases manufactured and be, during COVID, the price of everything tripled. Um, mm-hmm. So, and it's also hard to get the, the materials. So those are being manufactured as we speak. Um, our plaques for the hearts are being manufactured as we speak. And, and we're hoping probably mid-month to, to do the great unveiling and we'll be sure to post that on Facebook and um, and let you guys know as well so you, you have advanced warning. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you I know there's a lot of moving parts with any installation so um, I'm just like I mentioned we're just thrilled to be involved and thrilled for the community and all the visitors so just want to quickly just sh- um, have you all share you know after this project you know, what is next? What's happening um, for you, Nicole, right now? Mm-hmm. 
for me? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to keep painting. And um, I recently taught um, my colleagues at Stanford um, for Nurse Week. Um, I did a painting presentation. So I'm hoping to do more of that. Um, and then I've got like a paint and sip at Manapua in Carmel in the Crossroads. That's on June 25th. A um, few spots and um, people can find about that, more about that on my website. And um, I just wanna be able to inspire other people to create and have fun with, with painting and with the arts. So, um, and, and my big picture goal is to um, be an artist full-time and a nurse part-time. So mm -hmm. that's what's, what's going on for me. I see that in your future. I see that for you. <laughs> Thank you. What's next for you? I know you have a full gallery, people coming in and out now, so. Oh, for me? Yes. Um, I am just, um, what I say the other day, I'm just going to keep on keeping on. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. <laughs> things, the things that are up for me next, I've got a lot of commission work that I'm working on right now, some public works, sculpture pieces, um, working on some commission paintings right now, um, working on the Point of Art, which is another community event um, benefiting the Monterey Dance School through Carmel Sunset Rotary. Um, we'll be having that show in the gallery in September. And we are going to have a grand reopening because uh, we moved after nine years, um, one block away from our old lo location. And so uh, now that people can can come out and we can gather a little bit, we're, we're going to have some type of a, a reopening here in the gallery at Bennett Sculpture here in Carmel. Mm -hmm. And um, and I just want to say, um, Yvonne, I um, the other artists that are involved in this in this project, this Heart of Carmel, I just want to say a, a shout out to. I knew about half of them, and then about half of them I did not know, and it's been so freaking cool to like check out these artist bios these artists and what they're doing and um it's been really exciting that way so um definitely felt honored to be one of the artists but loved learning about all of these other artists here in this community so we, we do we have great fantastic artists and such a nice um it, it's a well-rounded group of, of art that's going to be out in the community yeah, so I'm really excited about that. I agree with that. I've got um, there's two others here in, in my building and oh, my goodness, it's incredible just to see what they've created. And, yeah. and Ashley, yours is amazing. So, yeah, yeah shout out. to. Well, I can't there. wait to see yours finish. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> so all very cool. Like, very, very cool. All the little teasers that have been out there. It's just, yeah, yeah it's really keeping fun. you on your toes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's so fun to see how different, you know, you, you have this one similar thing, like canvas and, and the heart shape, but how different they're all going to be. It's just, it's rad. I love That's it. Awesome. <laughs> and then Yvonne, what's next for you? I know you have something happening actually tonight. Yeah, tonight, actually, one of my uh, leadership teammates, Wanda Volmore from Peace of Mind Preparedness, is giving a talk on, on disaster preparedness, in particular, being ready for the wildfire season. Uh, she'll be mm -hmm. up there with Chief Tomasi tonight at six, and it's a free to the public um, lecture with a movie following. So um, that's fun. Um, next week, we have a Juneteenth event on Wednesday. Um, and that's going to be um, music, song, spoken word, dance, and that'll be fun. And on Friday the 18th, we have our Forest Theater Guild Players. It's a night of jazz. It's a fundraiser for the Forest Theater. So it um, should that's be fun. Great. And then we're going to continue films in the forest, of course. So check our website. Yeah, we're putting all of your social media handles um, in the book feed and um, I'll just quickly just run down, uh, you know, go to carmelchamber.org to learn more about the Leadership Carmel Project and the Heart of uh, Carmel Project. And then for Nicole, she's at on IG and Facebook at Nicole Cromwell Art. And her newly launched website is up and running with, like she mentioned, her workshop um, that has a few openings. And also Ashley is at Ashley Bennett Stoddard on IG and Facebook. And Yvonne is at Yvonne uh, Hildebrand Bowen. 
So, and also we have your websites and everything that are um, also in the field. So I just want to say thank you all so much for joining in, for hanging in during the some technical glitches. And I can't wait to see all of you in, uh, out in the public uh, because we can do that now. So once, um, you know, I can't see you at uh, reveal. So thank you so much and uh, look forward uh, to uh, seeing you guys down the road. So I just wanna say to our audience, stay tuned uh, for next month for another Artist Spotlight. Um, and uh, thank you so much. Be sure to comment and share and to learn more about the uh, Leadership Carmel Project. County, Art please of, visit uh, uh, www.artsforemc.org for another artist thank you. Um, and Karen, thanks for having us. Thank you, Karen. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Nicole and Ashley. Yeah. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.